when Gabriel is having a seizure. Um, and I feel helpless. I mean, as a dad, I feel that our role is to protect our family. Especially the person that I am, I always feel like I have to hold up a big shield to protect my family. And so when Gabriel's having a seizure, that shield means nothing. I can watch him and maybe give him a rescue med and pray that it works, but at the end of the day, he's gonna keep seizing and I, I can't do anything about it. Gabriel was four years old when he had his first seizure. He was having one to five seizures every day, pretty much. He's on his 10th or 11th medication that we've tried. We've tried keto diet. Uh, he has a vagus nerve stimulator. We didn't want to do brain surgery. We've tried everything we possibly could to avoid the extreme. Um, and we were just not seeing progress. That's when we were told, you know, DBS is probably the best option for him. Epilepsy in children is common. For all the different types of epilepsy, the first treatment is always a medication. And a full third of people will continue to have those seizures, no matter which medicines we need to use. Fortunately, there are really life-changing therapies when medicines don't work. One of the newest ones being used for epilepsy in children is called DBS, or Deep Brain Stimulation. There are a host of new options that are essentially brain implants that allow us to use electrical signals to change the way the brain communicates. We thought for sure we were gonna to have to travel to have surgery. And then we heard Dr. Hoptman was moving here. I immediately, of course, went to research. And I saw just the best things and I was so excited. From philanthropic effort, we were able to obtain a surgical robot we call the Rosa robot, and that's incredibly impactful. We're able through very small incisions to place electrodes into the deep-seated regions of the brain to help us reduce seizures in kids who have no other options. <laughs> Typically, I would say he was having anywhere from 20 to 60 seizures a month to about once a week, which is insane. And we're, <laughs> it has been such a big blessing. And really we have so much of our kid back. First I roll out of here, but I have over right here. And they help me get the seizures away. We wouldn't be able to bring the latest, newest technologies, including developing new technologies that don't even exist yet without the support of philanthropy. When we saw the Rosa machine and what it can do and how it can help these kids, it was just um, life-changing for so many people, so many families. So that was encouraging to us. You know, you bring it in and boom, someone's already seeing some success with that. And you think, wow, now we can do more, 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 more. If we can keep helping kids and succeed in life and have a full life, what, what, better, what better reason to be involved? As a parent, I feel like that there's some things that you want your kids to accomplish and these ideas that you have for them in the future. And so to hear that, oh, well, Gabriel has epilepsy, it's almost like you have to grieve some of that future. But after the surgery, some of those pieces that we took away like are able to finally come back and they're slowly being able to put back together. And it's just amazing. It's amazing to see. There's no other words to describe just how thankful we are to finally be getting our kid back.